I've got a hold of it. I'm not going to let this man fall. His life is in my hand. I'm not going to drop him. If you're a survival enthusiast, you would have been glued to the TV screen during Discovery's channel's dual survival episodes. And one of the key figures who made the show great was the legendary Joe Tetai. Joe was a true adventurer, a skilled soldier, a gifted survivalist who captured the hearts and minds of millions on the hit TV show Dual Survival. But have you ever wondered about what really happened to him? Well, it's been driving every fan crazy trying to figure out where he went and what he's been up to. Did he retire to a quiet life in the woods? Or maybe he just disappeared into thin air? You'll soon get all your answers because we're going to explore what really happened to Joe Tetai from Dual Survival. So let's dive in. And I'll tell you, man, the heat here really beat me down. I'll, I'll be honest with you. I'm, I'm right. still feeling it. And I, I think you admit the same thing. So never underestimate uh, temperatures, high temperatures. Now, to understand the mystery surrounding Joe Tetai's disappearance, we first need to understand his background. Joe Tetai was born in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania on December 10, 1964. As a child, he grew up loving the outdoors and spent much of his time seeking adventure, whether it involved camping, swimming or fishing. His parents were hardworking and they instilled in him a strong work ethic and a sense of determination that served him well in his future endeavors. Unfortunately, his mother passed away when he was just in high school. After that, he changed schools during his early education. Just at the age of 18, Joe was lucky to have the opportunity to be part of the US Marine Corps. We're sure that it wasn't only luck that led him towards this success. He definitely was enthusiastic and intelligent enough to achieve whatever he aimed for. He served there from June 14, 1982 to April 15, 1986. Next in the row was his career in the US military army, which he joined in 1991. Going on to the next part of his life, he also had the chance to join the Special Forces from 1999 to 2000 under the training of the National Guard. The trainees in this further got the opportunity to participate in Iraq and Afghanistan's Operation Iraqi Freedom and Operation Enduring Freedom, respectively. Moving on to the next part of his life, he became a part of the government's counter-terrorism unit. In this way, in his career, he could provide a protocol to many government officials and civilians in Iraq and Afghanistan. After that, he joined the US Embassy and US Consulate in various places like Israel, Jerusalem and Tel Aviv. There he went on many high-risk missions while risking his own life for the sake of others. During his time in marine and military centers, he gained in-depth knowledge about survival skills which he showcased throughout his career. Following his time in his career, he devoted himself to TV full-time, gaining millions of fans worldwide. Next in line for us all to witness was his debut on the television screen. Joe Tetai's career in the TV industry began when he was chosen to replace Dave Canterbury on Discovery Channel's hit show, Dual Survival, in 2013. Joe quickly became a fan favorite, appearing in over 20 episodes of the show alongside co-host Cody Lundeen. This extensive knowledge, skills and earnest attitude made him an instant hit with viewers. During his stint on Dual Survival, Joel shared his expertise in survival skills with the audience, taking them on a journey through some of the toughest environments on the planet. He quickly became known for his no-nonsense approach and willingness to take on any challenge. But we know that all good things must come to an end and Joe's time on Dual Survival eventually came to a closure. Grady Powell and Bill McConnell took over his and his co-host role in the show's 16th season, but his impact on the series and the survival community was undeniable. His fans must have been guessing ever since as to why he left the show in the first place. Well, we all know that Joe Tetai's career in television was not without controversies. Following his rise to fame on Discovery Channel's dual survival, he was accused of falsifying his military records and experience. Despite these accusations, he continued to appear on the show for several seasons. In 2014, another tragedy struck while filming an episode of Dual Survival. A helicopter crash which resulted in the deaths of three crew members and fellow host Michael Hope. Due to this accident, Tetai was accused of putting the crew at risk. This conflict snowballed into further accusations of forgery and lies and even led to courtroom dates for both parties involved. As it turns out, Tetai's military experience may not have been entirely truthful. Although he claimed to have completed Special Forces Combat and Special Forces Sniper Forces, his regiment was so secretive that he was not allowed to mention it. 
However, Army Sergeant Major George Davenport debunked this claim when he checked with the Special Forces schools and found no mention of Joseph Tetai. Despite the popularity in dual survival, Tetai's time on the show ended after the fifth season. Reports claim that he was fired after he harmed a dog on set. Although it's unclear whether he harmed or killed the dog, the network's premises took the incident very seriously. In fact, a memo was released stating that Tetai was not allowed on the network's premises. The controversies surrounding Tetai have been ongoing, and they continue to generate interest from fans of dual survival. It's unclear what the future held for Tetai at that time, but his time on the show will always be remembered for his extensive knowledge and skills. The highly anticipated new season of Dual Survival also premiered afterward, but it wasn't the same show that fans were used to. The new hosts, wilderness survivalist Bill McConnell and former Green Beret Grady Powell were introduced without much fanfare, leaving fans disappointed and confused. It wasn't until former host Joe Tetai and Matt Graham spoke out on social media that fans started to get some answers. While Matt simply tweeted his thanks to fans for their support and let them know that he has a new show in the works, Joe took to his Facebook page to address the issue in more detail. He acknowledged that it's no secret that he and Matt are no longer on the show, but encouraged fans to support the new host and give them a chance. Moving on to bigger and better things, there are way, way more important things going on right now than a TV show. Don't you agree? Despite Joe's encouragement, some fans weren't impressed with the premiere episode featuring Grady and Bill. But Joe remained confident that the new hosts would find their groove and do a great job. He also reminded fans that his first episode with Cody Lundin was a disaster and that it took time for him and Cody to find their rhythm. While it's unclear what Joe's new projects are, he clarified that there are more important things in the world now than a TV show. He also addressed those who say they won't watch Dual Survival without him on it, reminding them that the show's magic is in the different perspectives and views that the hosts bring to the table. As the season continues, fans must decide whether to stick with a new host or move on to something else. But one thing is certain, Joe and Matt will always be remembered as integral parts of the show's history. After his controversial firing from the show, Discovery Channel pulled the plug on Dual Survival. The show's sixth season was abruptly condensed into only four episodes from September to October 2015. The next two seasons were tumultuous to say the least, and the network has not produced a new episode since 2016. Although the show hasn't been officially cancelled, its chance of survival seems slim. Now you may be wondering what Joe Tetai has been up to since he departed from the show. Unfortunately, there is no concrete information available about his recent activities. Whether he's been working on new projects or pursuing other opportunities is still unclear. Despite all the controversies, his net worth is $300,000, which he might have earned through his military and television career or maybe something else. However, Joe seems to have kept a low profile since he departed from the show. Now, we can assume that he must have been earning, but kept a few things a secret from the public or in secrecy, can't we? Although Joe's time on Dual Survival was controversial, it's important to remember his positive impact on the show's earlier seasons. His unique background and views on survival made for compelling television, and he undoubtedly left a lasting impact on the show's legacy. While he may not be aware of what the future holds for Joe Tetai, one thing is for sure, his time in Dual Survival will always be remembered by fans of the show. Last but not least, Joe Tetai's impressive skills, natural leadership, no-nonsense attitude and dedication to his work made him a fan favourite on Dual Survival. Joe's unique approach to survival, coupled with his extensive experience in the military, made him a true expert in his field. Undoubtedly, he gained a great following during his time on the show.